Okay, so what I've got here is I've got my Windows 10 virtual machine and I've downloaded Packer. I've downloaded Packer 1.5.6 for 64-bit Windows. And in Microsoft Edge, it said to me, what is it you want to do with this download? And I've said, I just want to open it. I don't want to download the zip file or store it anywhere. I just want to open it. And this is the end result. This is what we have here. We have Explorer and we can see that just like the Linux installation, if you watch that video, we just end up with the packer executable. So what do we do with this? So what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna right click and I'm just gonna copy. I'm gonna copy this file out of the zip file. I'm gonna go to my Windows system. I'm gonna to go to C drive. And then in here, I'm just gonna create a new folder just called packer. Gonna paste it in there. Now, if I was to go to the command prompt, I'd go, if I, go, if I was to execute the command prompt and type in packer version, going to have no idea what what I'm what I'm referring to it has no idea what I'm referring to so if we head on over to C drive packer we can now see that we have it in here packer.exe version now we can see that it executes now we can see that it runs but of course we want to be able to do this from anywhere on the system so if you hit the start menu and go emv var just type in ENV, you get edit system environment variables. I would suggest going for edit the environment variables for your account. We can see just like in Linux, there's a path variable. Double click this and then we go new, but that's what we want to do. We want to put C drive packer. Okay. Okay. So we're not in the packer directory. From a command prompt now, we can access the packer executable on Windows from anywhere in our file system from within command.exe.